Hey guys, today's video is going to be an Etsy sticker haul. I have five packages here to share with you. I'm going to be going through these pretty fast. I feel like I had just gotten started with adding planner videos into my channel and then things just got crazy with the move and the pregnancy and all that stuff. I'm trying to get back into it and I'm going to start off with the stickers that I've purchased over the last few months. These ones, for the most part, I haven't really gotten uh, into except for you'll see one sticker sheet I have been using. But anyways, that's enough rambling for me. I'm going to get through these pretty quickly. Like I said, the first package I have here is from Pretty on Paper Co. I got three kits from Chrissy. Two of them are her notes page kit. The first one I got is the Movies Tracker notes page kit. I thought this would be a really fun way to keep track of the movies you go see throughout the year. Going to the movies for date night is probably one of my favorite date nights ever. Like dinner and a movie is actually my favorite thing. I know a lot of people think it's boring but I absolutely love it. And so I thought I could keep track of all of the movies me and Jeremy go see over the next year. The other notes page kit I got is the reading tracker. So you have this bookshelf where you can write in the titles of the books that you have finished reading over the year. Now that I am officially done school, I will have a lot more time to read actual books that I want to read and not textbooks, so I thought this would be a fun way to keep track of those. The next one I got is a weekly kit, and this is the Popco Signature No White Space Weekly Kit. This is kind of like, well like the title suggests, her signature kit, one that really represents her shop to her, so it comes with the date covers glitter headers. This is the functional page. I love the combination of the mint, pink, and navy. That's really what drew me to this kit. The full boxes. I really love the geometric patterns of these. It says work hard, dream big, stay humble, and then the big quote box says the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. This is the headers and little things page. And I love the gold, well it's kind of more like a coppery gold glitter, full heart checklist, half boxes, quarter boxes, and sidebar, and then your washi. So I really like this kit. I'm super happy with my purchase. This was my first time purchasing from Pretty on Paper Co. The next shop I have here is Pumpkin Paper Co. So the order came with this little card. It came with this cute postcard. I'm not sure who I would ever send this to, but it's kind of a cute keepsake. And then I actually only ordered two sh um, sheets. The first one is the yoga stickers, which I ordered these before I um, ha was having all these issues with my pregnancy, which if you didn't know about those, you can go to my second channel and I explain all about it over there. So I'm actually not going to get any use out of these until afterwards, but they're still really cute. I think she calls these girls Tara. I could be completely making that up. But I think that's what she calls her. And then these are the swimming ones. I thought this would be a good way to track Max's swimming lesson, even though this is a little girl. I don't really think it matters since it's going in my planner. Um, but Max uh, usually does swimming lessons. He's actually done now, probably until the fall, because I have him signed up for baseball instead. But I will definitely be getting use out of those. So that is everything I got from Pumpkin Paper Co. Next, I have an order from Planner Penguin. This is another new shop to me. First thing, you have this little kind of like journaling card. It's quite pretty. I might actually put this in a little frame and have it on my desk or something because I really like the um, print that's on there. And then just a thank you on the back. The kit I got is called Sweet Spring. And I think I'm definitely going to be using this in 
April, maybe around Easter time because it just has the most beautiful Easter colors. This is the little freebie that came with my order. These little penguins are so cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to really use them for. They're kind of like munchkins or emojis, like along those same lines where they're all doing different actions. So I ordered the glitter headers. These were actually separate, but if I purchase the glitter headers with a kit, I can usually stretch a full weekly kit into two spreads because I use the glitter headers for one spread and then the regular uh, to do today little things headers for another spread and then use the full heart checklist for one spread and then the checklist flags for another, if that makes sense. So anyways, glitter headers. And again, these colors just remind me of spring. These are the full boxes. I love the like whimsical kind of feel to this. The checklists, washi sheet. Wow, all these are ass backwards. Here is your functional sheet with date covers. Oh, there's a hydration tracker on here. That's kind of cool. I probably wouldn't really use those, but I don't know. Nice to have for some people, I guess. I guess she calls these other things. So this is headers and other things. And then half boxes, appointment labels, and sidebar things. Two bill dues, which I like because I generally have more than one bill due in a week. But I really love the colors of this kit, like I said. And again, this is a first time purchase from Planner Penguin. Next I have an order from KPL Plans. Now this is the order that I have been kind of dipping into as you can see here. But I just couldn't wait any longer to use those. Here is the freebie I got with my order. I love this full box. I'm not really sure. Whenever I get full boxes on little samplers I never really know how to incorporate them unless I do a, like a really minimal spread that I don't have a full kit for and I'm just kind of pulling leftovers or like multicolor items in but I really like the colors and it says once you become fearless your life becomes limitless. I got these snow day stickers. There was two weeks here in Nova Scotia where kids um, had five day weekends two weeks in a row. It was really ridiculous. We got so much snow so I ordered these because I had no way to track that in my planner. I was just using a point, appointment labels. And of course now spring is on its way so I don't know if I'll get to use these. However, I do live in Nova Scotia so we might even have a snow day in April. Who the heck knows? So if not, I will definitely get used to this next year. This is the sheet that I have been using. This is a graduation countdown. So on February 24th I actually wrote my last exam of my whole degree. It's been five years in the making and I'm so happy yet sad that it's over. But I'm waiting to hear back if I have met all my requirements for graduating since I didn't follow my program exactly like how it's laid out for just regular um, new students kind of. It's kind of hard to explain but because I I was older then a lot of the people that were in my class, I took longer to do the degree, I have a kid, all that stuff. I just need to make sure that I can actually graduate and that I've met all my requirements since it took me so long. But I have been using the 90, 80, and 70, sorry, 190 and 80 days to graduation countdown in my planner already because I'm just so excited to have these stickers. Now this is a little um, kind of mini kit if you will. This is the school activities planner stickers that she sells and this is another thing that I probably should have got at the beginning of the year but it has last day and first day of school, 100th day of school, no school, late arrival, early dismissal, open house, parent teacher. Then you have winter break, book fair, picture day, class party, art project. You get the gist. There's a lot of great stickers here to track school activities. So if you have a kid in school, um, this would be perfect for that. This doesn't really work 
as well um, for maybe a university student or something but if you have kids of your own that are school age then I would totally recommend these stickers they are so vibrant and they I did get matte I don't know if she sells glossy or not the colors on these stickers are incredible so that was everything I ordered from KPL plans and last but not least I have an order from Murdoch Talks. I've actually ordered her stickers before and really enjoyed them. So I made another purchase. So this is the sampler I got with my order. It's really great, kind of more wintry colors. I ordered a sheet of rent stickers. I used one last week for the first of the month, but um, I on the first of the month we always have so many bills due that there's never enough in a kit and it just like stacks them up and looks really ridiculous so rent is always the same amount so I don't really need to write the amount down I obviously have it memorized so I thought just these cute little stickers would be good to use if not in your weekly spreads and in your monthly spread and then I bought one kit. This is the Shamrock kit. I'm going to be using this for St. Patrick's Day. So first I have here the date covers with two different kind of styles to choose from. Again, I got the glitter header so I can stretch this to two weeks if I wanted to. And then I would have date covers for both weeks as well, which is kind of nice. These are the full boxes. You get nine of them. So again, on days that I have a lot of stuff in my planner and I'm going to end up covering a full box anyways, I've just been skipping it lately. And then I have more to again spread my kits out to two weeks. And there's two quote boxes as well. So this will be a nice kit to do that for. And then I'll just make sure to maybe use this one that has like talks about clovers and luck the pot of gold and the leprechaun's feet make sure to use those on the week of st patrick's day and then the other ones will work for spring really i guess that one has a shamrock in it but these are just florals so i don't know if that makes sense but that was kind of what i had in mind when i bought this kit this is the functional page i love the like typography style stickers that a lot of um, shops are doing now and I like that her weekend banner curves the other way. It's just something a little different when I'm flipping through um, past weeks that you could notice. Here are your headers, half boxes, some sidebar stuff, flags, teardrops. I don't have the new neutral planner so I don't usually use those little flags that go that go in the corner but if you do have that she offers those flags full heart checklists again there's nine of them which is really nice you get a huge sheet of little things there's a ton of stuff to choose from definitely something for everyone and then here's the washi which is beautiful whoops I have it upside down sorry about that but I just can't wait to use this kit. So that was everything I got over the last little bit in terms of stickers. And it's quite a bit, but I'm pretty proud that I went through this so fast. So hopefully this video won't be too long for you. I will have the shops linked in the description bar below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!